Hey guys and gals, it's your favorite webinar host here. My name's Marie, and I'm super stoked to welcome you all to another webinar by The Beautifies. Last time we talked about The Beautify reviews, and we had a lot of things to say about that topic. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about how reviews can make or break your online store. And if you haven't watched it yet, don't worry, you can always check it out on our website. Anyway, enough talking about the past, let's talk about today's webinar. We're diving into the nitty gritty of modeling your competitors to build your perfect brand. It's like figuring out your arch nemesis and then using their powers for good. Plus, we'll be sharing some juicy secrets on how to stay ahead of the game and leave your competi competitors in the dust. So, oopsie. Grab your coffee, tea, or whatever floats your boat and get ready to learn some new tricks. And hey, if you have any questions, don't be shy to ask whoever's tuning in here. We're all friends here and we're here to support each other. So let's get this show on the road. Here are tips on building your brand. Number one, identify your audience. To create a killer brand, you need to know your audience like the back of your hand. Do some digging by Googling your product or service category and checking out your direct and indirect competitions. You can also sneak a peek at subreddits related to your customers. Talk to people in your target market. While you're doing your research, take note of your lowest hanging fruit customers and the top of mind competitors in your market. It's also important to pay attention to your customers' interests and how they speak about them. This information will come in handy when you're trying to position your brand apart from your competitors. Another crucial step is identifying your audience. Who are you trying to reach? Maybe check out their social media accounts. For example, if instead of just targeting dog owners, try narrowing it down to new dog owners with younger canine companions or people who train dogs for shows. This will help you stand out and have less competition to worry about. To get to know your audience even better, examine your existing customers. Look at your competition and create buyer personas. And as you start building your e-commerce brand, keep adding to those customer personas to keep them accurate. Trust me, once you have a handle of your audience and competitors, uh, blah, competitors, <laughs> the rest of the steps will be a breeze. All right, guys, let's move on to the next step of building your perfect brand. Researching your competitors. but why should you care about them? Trust me, it's crucial to know what they're doing so you can stand out and convince customers to choose you over them. But don't worry, we're not here to copy them. Instead, let's study their strengths and weaknesses so we can differentiate ourselves. After all, we want to create a brand that's memorable and easy to recognize. So let's, let's create a brand competitor research spreadsheet. You can use Google, Excel, or even just an old-fashioned notebook. Here are some questions to consider. Number one, is the competitor consistent with messaging and visual identity? And what is the quality of the competitor's products or services? Does the competitor have customer reviews or social me media mentions? Can you read What can you read about them? And in what ways does the competitor market their business both online and offline? Remember, choose a few competitors to compare. Two to four is good a good number. For your comparison chart, for your comparison chart, you have to use conducting competitor research. You'll be able to discover and define your brand positioning. So let's get to it. All right, time to dive into step three of brand building. Analyzing your competition. It's important to keep tabs on what your competitors are up to so you can find new opportunities and avoid potential pitfalls. Plus, you might even get some inspiration from their success. Here is what you need to do. Number one, Google again, Google your niche, make a list of all the businesses that pop up. You can also use fancy schmancy competitor analysis tools like SimilarWeb if you're feeling tech savvy. Next, take a good look at their products or services, also their pricing, their locations, and marketing strategies. Then conduct a SWOT analysis to figure out their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. This will help you see where you can improve and where you can capitalize on gaps in the market. Finally, comb through review sites, social media platforms, and forums like Reddit. 
to see what issues customers are having with your competitors. By doing all this detective work, you can develop better products or services that address those issues and win over the market. Just look at Tesla. They saw a gap in the gas-powered vehicle market and capitalized on it by offering eco-friendly electric cars. Genius! Step four is all about doing some competitive research. So it's important to know what your competitors are up to so you can create a focused marketing plan that works for your business. So look at your competitors' websites. Also check their product prices. You can also analyze customer reviews and check out their social media presence. You'll also want to see how they market their products and check out their shipping costs. Don't forget again to perform a SWOT analysis. I can't stress this enough. For example, if your competitor is Apple, you'll want to study it and find potential gaps in its products and hidden opportunities for your brand. So to keep all of this information organized, just create a spreadsheet with the most important factors you'll be examining. This is a simple competitive analysis template that you can use. By having all of this information in one place, you'll have a better understanding of your competitors and operate uh, how your competitors operate and how you can tackle the market. So don't forget to make one. And that's a wrap for our webinar on building a brand. We hope you learned a lot of valuable insights and tips on how to create a brand that stands out in the market. Remember, building a brand takes time and effort, but with the right mindset and strategy, you can establish a strong and loyal customer base that will help your business thrive. If you have any further questions or need any assistance, don't forget, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Also, make sure to watch out for other webinars that cover different aspects of building and growing a business. We can't wait to see you again in our future webinars. Thank you for joining us today. Have a fantastic day ahead, guys. My name's Marie, and we'll see you next time. Bye!